Good afternoon, good afternoon. Well, it is good afternoon, it's about half past twelve. It's New Year's Day, so uh, happy New Year from uh, last night. Um, I am hungover. It's New Year's Day, of course I'm hungover. I'm a little bit tired, I've only had sort of like four or five hours sleep. Um, but it's not cold, again, it's a little bit nippy, but it's not cold, cold, cold. Um, my hangover isn't so bad that an hour or two in the garage won't clear it. Um, so I've decided this morning that I'm going to have a nice easy day and get the gearbox off. Um, the chassis is in the garage again now. The camera there. Um, there you go, it's back tucked up where it was again, up against the wall. There's loads more room in here now, um, now that the chassis is out. Uh, now that the bikes are out of the garage and the, the body's over there, so I'm going to clean some of the, the stuff that I've sort of accumulated. Bag of rags, carpet set, little bits and pieces off it. Uh, drag it into the middle of the garage and hopefully get the gearbox off. Um, I've been told that removing the gearbox is simple. Uh, we'll find out. I haven't got my manual with me, it's upstairs in the bedroom and I've got my I've got my boots on and they're filthy dirty so I'm not going to be dragging those through the carpet to get the manual so we'll play it by ear um, and see how easy it is. So thanks for watching and uh, let's see how this pans out. So, I've lit a fire, um, just because I can, no, no other reason than that, it makes working in the garage so much more fun, it's toasty warm and the crackling's kind of nice, let's do and there's a little plate here, keeps a cup of coffee lovely and warm, um, I have to ignore Lenny Lennox in the background there, um, so from what I can gather, without looking underneath to see what's going on, sort of, cable end of the gearbox, um, it all looks pretty simple, um, as far as I can sort of tell, there's a couple of bolts here um, which look to be sort of hooked around the hooked around the tube there. Same on the other side, um, I think this is gearbox and I think from what I can gather this is obviously suspension. So a couple of bolts there, obviously um, brake pipes which are rotten anyway so I'll probably just remove them here or cut them. And then on the bottom of the uh, drive shaft tube. I've got another couple of bolts there, and the same on the other side for the shocks. Um, and then these meaty buggers. You can't really see them very well on the camera. There, focus camera. There you go. One there, and one the one the other side. So um, apart from that and the wiring on the gearbox, I think that might be it. Um, I don't know what's under the chassis when it comes to the gearbox, so I'll probably have to jack the the front up, stick it on axle stands, and have a butcher's underneath, which I need to do anyway because the idea of getting the gearbox out is that I can raise the chassis right up safely and uh, work underneath it. So, um, on that note, let's crash on. So, I've been on it about 25 minutes, half an hour, uh, not long at all. Um, one shot bolt undone, I think it's two, a 19 and a 17. Um, same at the bottom, and again, on the, obviously on the left hand side. Uh, no nasty surprises, um, considering obviously I don't think the, the car's ever been this apart before. Um, they came undone really easily, so that was great. Um, they compress, they're there as shock, they look really manky, but they sort of, they've still got quite a lot of compression in them, you can push them. But it takes a little bit of effort. Um, whether I replace them or not, more than likely, because they look awful and they're, you know, they are, I'm assuming they're pretty old, but they came off okay. Uh, I've got these two bolts out, 19 mil bolts through two on either side at the back of the suspension. And then there's another one, which I didn't notice earlier on, which is all manky, there's one there. And the same again on the other side, it's probably easier to show you there. Um, one there, so that's my next port of call, and then it's brake blinds off. Uh, on the question of how it all attaches to the front, because I never really knew, I've taken the plate off, there's a little plate at the top of the top of the car, which will be sort of back there. It will be under the back seat, I think, near enough. Um, in the car is this. You take the plate. Oh, it's just got one little one Phillips head screw. You take the plates there, uh, all the hooks, and then what you've got inside is this. Um, I don't quite know how to take that out yet. I'm assuming I'll take this bit of lock wire off. The pin will come out, um, and that will slide off. And you've just got this. Um, bar which obviously attaches to the um, gear linkage at the front. So yeah, onward and uh, next to a few steps.
Okay, so I've got the last two bolts out. That one there, that one. I'm pointing, but not actually pointing the camera at it. That one there, and that one there. They came out real easy again, 290 mils aside. All neat and tidy in a tub. Um, it's a testament to Volkswagen, to be honest, that after however long many years this thing's been on the road, that they came out without any hassle at all. Let's put a bit of weight on them, but they didn't round off, they weren't seized, obviously. In 72, they made things better than they do now. Um, I've no doubt if there's a modern car that's trying to do this too. I'll be up to my eyeballs in foul language and cut knuckles by now. Um, the fire's still roaring away in there, look, as you can see. Um, I've got to make myself a cup of coffee, you know, battered stop, just put colour changing mugs in the dishwasher because they fail. Um, I'll prop that up on there because it keeps it lovely and warm. Um, it is pleasant working next to a hot fire in a garage, I can tell you. Okay, so either side's out. Um, there's two rubber mounts here at the bottom. I don't need to undo these, these gearbox support bolts. They're massive and I'll be easier to take them out, I imagine, when the gearbox is off. There is, um, the gearbox has got its own, sort of sits on a rubber cradle. And um, you've got two 13mm bolts, one at the top and one underneath, which I have yet to undo on that side, I believe. Oh, no, sorry, one there. One there and, no, nope. oh, yeah, sorry, one there underneath, which are a bit grubby. Um, I'll get that one in a moment. So, two 13 mils. And then at the back of the gearbox, that looks like to be a rubber support. You can sort of, camera might focus on it. It's down there, um, that's 17 mil captive nut. So we've got two of those to undo, the two 13 mils, that there. And as far as I can tell, um, the gearbox assembly, my, my bar the clutch cable, which is just literally a big wing, big uh, egg-shaped wing nut. Uh, same as a motorbike, oddly enough. Um, yeah, and the gearbox should just pull out. Then I'll be able to prop the, gear, the uh, chassis up and have a good look underneath. So, I've removed all the bolts now completely. Um, these two are the, probably the worst. The two little 13 mil down there, you can't even see them because the, uh, the, light, the camera light isn't good enough, but you just about make them out. I'll try and take a picture and stick that on there. Uh, and you've got this little fella here, which is literally a bit of lock wire. Uh, and it looks, like a, it looks like a pin. It literally is just a square peg, a threaded square peg. Uh, with some screws, it's there. That's it, that's the fella. It's got a bit of lock wire through it to hold it in, I'm assuming, so the gear linkage doesn't come off. Um, and the, the rod here now is sort of mostly loose in the tunnel. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, you can just see it there, if you show you this end, if I move it, you can sort of, you can see it moving about. Um, I think that's because the gear levers isn't in the car, so what I'm probably gonna do is put a couple of bolts in just to keep, I'll show you this end. Obviously, as I was pulling the gearbox backwards, this started to come down as well. So what I'm gonna do is pull this back into position, and just put a couple of bolts in to hold it where it should be, because I didn't want to pull the whole the whole rod out as well. I imagine that would be a bit of a bugger to get back in. Um, so yeah, so far no nasty surprises again from the bug, other than I'm oily hands and I probably should have put gloves on, but it's all fiddly, so. Yeah, I'm gonna jack the back up now. Um, it's all sort of sitting a bit cock at the moment. Jack it up and get it stable. Um, try and put a trolley, put a jack, a trolley jack under the gearbox and uh, pull it backwards. Brace yourself for squashed pinkies. So, I was about to pull the gearbox out, I finished my coffee, um, and I was sort of just having a tug on it and thinking, yeah, that's all jacked up, I've got it all sort of self Um I've got it all raised up on axle stands ready, and I've got a, let's see there, I've got, got a trolley jack under the box, um, and I sort of hit upon a snag that was the, um, the handbrake cables and the brake pipes. The brake pipes I wasn't concerned about because I sort of, pass it back on filthy dirty again. Beard's gonna go tomorrow. Um, babbling. I've got to cut the, um, I've got to cut the cables anyway because you can just, if I can just sort of direct you down to them, you see they're all, they're all really corroded and shitty and rusty. Um, so I'm gonna cut these anyway. They're all gonna get replaced. What I hadn't figured on was the, handbrake cables which sort of run into the back of the drums there. Um, I've got two choices for removing those. I can take the drums off um, and take the cables off this end or I can take them off 
over there. Oh wait, there you go, nearly, nearly, there you are. I can remove that handbrake cable on, which I think is going to be the way to do it. Um, because I know full well that people have massive difficulty um, with getting the uh, the drums off, the rear drums particularly, because the, the hub nut, oh, there you go. The hub up there um, is under absolute massive tension, and as I said, I'm only 10 stone. And um, with the whole with the chassis sort of wiggling about um, on on axle stands, I can't really put that much weight onto it. I've got a couple of really big breaker bars, um, but I'm probably going to fabricate something to pin this to the floor to stop it rotating um, before I try and get it off. And the other reason is I um, I didn't want to get into the drums just yet. I wanted to get the chassis clean then clean the gearbox, then bolt everything back up, then go round and do each drum um, one by one to make sure that I know they're done right in slow time. So I've got something else to undo, which is just the handbrake cable end there, um, and fingers crossed that will be enough to get it off. Um, and I'll be able to pull the gearbox out, and the drums, obviously the gearbox, the drive shafts, and fingers crossed, dirty fingers, will all come out as a wanna. So wish me luck. And if it looks a bit odd that I keep looking into the corner of the screen there, it's because I'm looking at the screen of myself, but I know full well that I should be looking there. It, which is where the camera is in the corner of the screen there. I'm going to have to teach myself sort of how to do that. Um, so apologies if it looks like I'm going nuts and keep looking that way. Okay, anyway, take care. Okay, so the gearbox, for all intents and purposes, is near enough out. I know you wouldn't think so, but it sort of is. Uh, now this is the this is in my hand here is the right hand side uh, handbrake cable. Um, I can only imagine it runs through a solid sort of tube all the way through and comes out somewhere down here. Now when I initially moved the gearbox, this all sort of went really tight, um, and I think it was caught up in the mechanism. So I decided to remove the um, the handbrake lever because it's going to need to be painted and greased and re-cleaned up anyway. Um, so I went to pull out the if you look there, there's a little um, focus camera. There's a little circle up in there. Uh, went to remove the circle up on this side, the right hand side, and as I was flicking it with a screwdriver to try and pull it out, the whole bar came out, which sits in there. Um, so there was no circle up in the other side, and as a result, the whole mechanism sort of fell to bits. Um, as you can see there, I have no idea how that works. Um, it can't be overly complicated, I'm sure. Nothing else seems to be, so that's the mistake I made. Um, Lessons learned. I've also noticed that the um, the driver and passenger side um, seatbelt clips are totally different, which does just bugs my sort of Beetle OCD. So yeah, um, that last thing to do now, hopefully the, the camera up there is still going, is actually remove the gearbox in itself. There was a couple of cables I'd missed as well. I could just point to uh, this one here. Is near enough off now. Um, which is the main feed, I'll just knock the bolting down there, I'll pick that up in a second, it just comes off, that's the main feed uh, to the battery for the starter, there's a cable there um, for the solenoid, which I believe is fed from somewhere else, it's there, it was all sort of crappy anyway, that'll, that'll get replaced, I'll make my own one for that, and there was, I've taken the clutch cable off, that was really easy, it's just a butterfly nut, um, which is egg shaped, it sits nice in there, I keep missing the camera, sorry, um, yeah, brake pipes are off, um, so yeah, all that went around now, oh these came off by the way, um, these actually came undone so I haven't had to cut them but they're going to get cut, cut off anyway because I'm going to replace them so yeah, hopefully now the gearbox should come out, brace yourselves again. I have no 
no idea if this is the right way to do it. But it's what we're doing, so. So there you go, uh, a few bolts to undo, not as many as I think. Okay, so, um, I finished in the garage and unfortunately I couldn't do a sort of a recap for myself um, due to the fact that I ran out of time and knocked my large motorcycle over, or rather dropped it in the garage. Uh, Um, so that took a good five minutes of fucking blood vessel bursting, stressing. I swore there. Sorry, I didn't mean. I didn't mean to. But yeah, I'm late for a sort of family um, dinner. So I'm in the little Yaris uh, doing my sort of end of garage mock around recap. So anyway, yeah, so I got the gearbox out, it took um, just on my own maybe maybe two and a half hours, maybe, if I hadn't stopped for coffee and to chat to the neighbours and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, probably could have done it in under two hours. I've no doubt now, to be honest, having done it once, that I could probably get it down to under an hour. Um, it is really as simple as, um, I'll start at the front of the car and I'll work my way back. Uh, take the handbrake cable bolts, this is how I did it, this, this is by no means the, the right way to do it, I'm sure. Um, I undid the handbrake cables in the where the gear lever was, so they were completely free. Uh, then there is two bolts at the back of the gearbox, which is towards the front of the car, which hold it onto a rubber mount, which hold it to the chassis. Then either side there is two bolts, uh, three bolts, sorry, on each sort of at the end of each drive shaft, um, that hold it onto the um, the arms. Call them arms. We'll see what they are. Uh, end of the plates. Uh, end of the um, swing arms, I suppose. Um, and I think, oh, and then there's two, they undo t t four 13 mil bolts, two either side at the bottom of where the bow has uh, which are on rubber mounts. Um, and that was it, really. A um, couple, of, couple of electrical cables, and uh, out she came. Um, the reason I undid, as I said earlier, on the handbrake cable in the car was purely for personal reasons that um, I didn't want to try and get the drums off the. Um, off the drive shafts just yet to get the handbrake cables out of the drums, which is normally the way you would do it. Um, purely because I don't want to tackle the brakes yet, I want to get all the chassis done, um, painted. The, gear, the same with the gearbox, the gearbox will get painted as will the drive shafts and their ends, and then the whole thing will go back in. Once it's all sitting on the ground again, um, and I can put some sort of weight on it and brace it and do, then I'll take the, um, the drive shafts out and the, um, the drums off, sorry. So yeah, there you go. Um, next thing, I did, I did actually, I'll show you some pictures if I remember to put them up. Um, scrub up the corners, and as, I, as I suspected, the chassis came up, is really clean underneath all the um, muck and stuff. So that was good news. Um, I know round about what I need to buy now, panel-wise. Um, so yeah, a sort of good day's tinkering, really, all in all. Uh, next job, now that the gearbox is off and sort of on a trolley, uh, crudely sort of duck cable tied and bungee and strapped to um, a trolley to keep the drive shafts near enough level for moving about is to prop the get a couple of people to give me a lift because it you know it's pretty bulky still and heavy get a couple of people to give me a lift with the chassis um, just to get the chassis propped up high up if I can away from the wall um, but high enough up that I can sort of easily work on the um, the corners of it without having to sort of squat onto the, on the garage floor um, if that's at all possible or I may build another sort of table to put the chassis on because I'm gonna have to work on the um, the plate underneath so I will need to get it sort of up against the wall on its side as I said I'm, I'm mumbling now so um, I'm gonna pick up my children um, have a nice carvery and then probably a New Year's Day snooze
so yeah take care um, hopefully I'll be back in the garage a couple of, another couple of nights um, I'll try and get this video on YouTube as quick as I can because the quicker I do them the more I remember when I'm trying to in what order I did stuff um, and yeah we'll go from there so I said have a pleasant evening and uh, take care